for me to actually go to the Bible and, uh, and quote it. Because uh, by misquoting, I can end up. Um, I can end up not uh, <laughs> iPad, come on. Uh, wake up, wake up. Wake up, yeah. So, um, what are you looking for? Um, the Lord has no, no. Lord is one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Six, Chapter four. 6. So, is that in Deuteronomy? You're talking about Deuteronomy. Excellent. I'm, oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. Okay, yes, you're right. So maybe it's just some of the fun. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think you are right. So sorry. It's okay. Yeah. So Exodus chapter 6. So hold on, where? Where? Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on. Yeah, no, so it's not there, it's chapter six. Yeah. Where? Where? Where is it? Where chapter six? Where, you where? said chapter six. You said Exodus chapter six. Exodus. This is Exodus. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. So, so it's chapter it's 20. Crazy. Yeah, I, I think it's 20. Mm. 20. Yeah, it's 20. So, what wrong. does it say? Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, okay. I'm. This I'm the Lord. One. 20 verse 4 is about the jealous God. Okay, so it so definitely Deuteronomy 6 4. Oh, okay, so you're talking Deuteronomy. about Deuteronomy. Aha, uh -huh, okay, okay, fine, because you said Exodus. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I said you meant Deuteronomy. Okay, okay, okay. Check, check, check. check it there. Is it there? Is it there? Uh -huh, yes, okay, there so it's Deuteronomy. Uh -huh. yeah. So here, O Israel, the Lord, uh -huh, although it's Yahweh, here, O Israel, Yahweh our God. Yahweh is one. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So Yahweh. So Yahweh is one. Yeah. Absolutely. There yeah. is. It's not. It's not like any of the other. Yeah. Yeah. Brother yeah. Faith. Yeah. Uh, how do you know it says Yahweh there? Eh? How do I know? Yeah. Okay. Fine. This is the new international version of the, trans the translation okay. of the scriptures. Okay. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. now, this translation was done by more than 100 scholars. Yeah. Professors in Semitic languages, um, Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic, and so on and so forth. Over 100 of them, experts in their field, you know, professors in Cambridge, in Harvard, from different parts of the world. And what? And when? From the Hebrew, when you have the tetragrammaton. Tetragrammaton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah, so where you have that, because you know, it's historic. Yeah, no worries. They, 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 um, they've, maintained, they've maintained their Jewish tradition of not actually using the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they've replaced it by, and they've made it clear from the, in the beginning. So they've replaced it by the Lord in capital letters. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so that's how I know. And you yeah, knew that yeah, anyway. No, no, no. I know. I'm oh, aware of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's how I knew you were. I, I'm aware of it. Yeah. But this is what is concerning me because uh, in the traditional one, yeah. Oh, we keep moving. That's right. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In, the, in the traditional one, yeah, the verse itself in the Hebrew says, Shema is the Adonai Elahim Adonai Six four. So it says Adonai Elahim Adonai Echon. Shema Israel, Hero Israel, Adonai, our Lord, Eli, our God. Let me ask you. I'm just going according to what. <coughs> no, so, right. no, let me just repeat. I don't doubt that you're a learned, well learned man. I don't doubt you that. are entitled to yeah, that opinion. No, no, I'm not claiming. No, I don't doubt that. But just, <laughs> to, but just remember you. what I said you in the beginning. You say that to the wrong person, just, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, but just remember what I said in the beginning. Yeah. The people who translated from the Hebrew, yes. from yes. the Aramaic, yes. right? Okay. Now, 
they are experts of these languages. Some, some of them with multiple PhDs. Okay, professors in Harvard, in Cambridge, and many places. Absolutely. Now, they have translated yes. from the original scriptures, yes. original scriptures, they've translated and made it clear that this is Yahweh. Yeah. So, so, so if you contradict them, yeah. if you're trying to contradict them, no, no. then I... Uh, sorry, Faith, I'm not contradicting, I'm just saying what I had read. So, yeah. for, for example, yeah, I don't mind. If you, you said Yahweh, Adonai, Adonai, then... No, no, it actually says, okay. Shema Israel, uh -huh. Adonai, Eli, you know, Adonai. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you with with no it. Yahweh then, is that what you No, is that your there's problem? no Yahweh. Oh, okay, fine. Then, so, then it's a different of opinion, a difference of opinion. Yeah, okay, you against 100 scholars, like when? I said, that translated the scriptures, the experts in the field, I, who had all the, who had thousands of manuscripts. Yeah. Okay, so, so I think, I think I'll go with them. And I, I don't you. mind, we'll go okay. with them. Okay. But what does Yahweh stand for? What does it stand for? What do you... you Okay, so 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 when God reveals His name, I need to know what it stands yeah. for. Yeah, you see, what I mean, by what is yeah, for? you see, the the word the, the verse that we are referring to because yes. we are trying to establish whether uh, you know the the Islamic concept of the Creator matches with the way the Bible is looking at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm just checking. So okay, I, I don't I think said, it does. Right, excellent. Yeah, because I want to know that if, uh, for example, in Deuteronomy. And Exodus 25, where you went, yeah, the book of Exodus, where it says, Your God is a jealous God, he shall have no other gods before him. Yeah, that's what Exodus 25 says. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Now, question is, if we are suggesting that Jesus Christ was either God incarnate, then Exodus 25 actually says you must not even have any kind of association about the Creator with anything that is created. That would include human beings. So how then are you able to say that in the New Testament, God incarnated Himself as a human being, from what I understood, I may be wrong. He, he incarnated Himself as a human being contrary to what God had already said in Exodus 25. Okay, so, so, I would say with due Don't respect, move away, otherwise the uh, yeah, I would say with due respect, your understanding of Exodus and Deuteronomy is, is faulty. Please correct yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's faulty. So so when 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 um, the scripture says that um, you should not have an associate, you should not associate any other gods to Yahweh, absolutely. Absolutely, including Allah, including Allah of the Quran. Absolutely, you should not associate any other deity. Now, when, if you're now referring to Jesus Christ, Yahweh, a decision was made within Yahweh. A, a decision was made within Yahweh. What do you mean within Yahweh? Uh, Yahweh, you see, when I say, um, right, okay. I can't, um, as a human being, and if I need a, no, no, no human being, can understand the decision that God, using the English word, that God comes to. We can't understand. So, how so, did you so know the hold on a second. A, a oh, okay. How do you know that a decision has been undertaken? How do I know a decision has been taken? Because of the act. So, for example, I can say, I can say that a decision was taken within Yahweh to appoint Moses as a prophet. And the reason why I can say that is because Moses was appointed by a prophet and is a prophet of Yahweh. So I can say a decision was made. That's you know? after the evidence. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So what is the evidence that God decided yeah, right, okay. about coming down? Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, what is the evidence that that Yahweh decided yes. to in any way come to earth? There are multiple. So we start from Genesis. Yes. We read in Genesis that Yahweh interacted with Adam and Eve. We read in Exodus, in fact, the commissioning of Moses, we read very clearly that that Moses was there and then suddenly he saw this bush and he went burning bush or a bush that's not burning, went there and then as he approached he was warned, do not come any closer because the place where you're standing is holy, is holy yeah. ground and, and, and Yahweh made himself known to Moses there. Okay. So, okay, so, so, no problem. Uh -huh. So, so, yeah, so that's, that's how we know yeah. that there are many incidents in which Yahweh had been on earth. Now, when we say 
Yahweh is being on earth. It's not, we're not talking about the totality of his being, which is beyond our comprehension. Okay. All we know is that, as we agreed earlier on, the initiative has to come from him. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I have no problem with that. The, the, I'm still, uh, which seems not to have been answered is, how can God incarnate himself as a man? Easy. How? He makes a decision and does it. Right. Okay. Because he's omnip omnipotent. Right, okay. So we are in a position to be able to logically assume that if the Creator intended to come down as any other of his created entities, he can do so. Well, all I can say is this. I can only go by what, what, I can only go by what has happened and what I, he has demonstrated, I, yeah. So, I, I mean, some of these speculative things, yeah. Well, actually, uh, yeah. respectfully, Faith, it's yeah. not speculative. You know why? Go I will tell you. You see, from a perspective of belief, we hold a position. Yeah? Our Hindu friends, okay, also have a belief. And their belief is comfortable with the idea that the Creator can incarnate Himself with any of the created creatures, right. including a cow. Right, okay. Are we agreed that if we take the principle that you are applying, yes. then God can even come down as a cow? Right, okay. So, um, the thing is this. I wouldn't, um, I, I, wouldn't I wouldn't say that because there's no evidence to show that he's done such a thing. Now, 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 I know, however, that if he wants to speak or manifest anything through a cow, he can, just as he can with with fire. I mean, after right. all, he Excellent. chose fire. Yeah. He, he chose, he chose, oh, I need to put my sunglasses. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, but, um, Have you got them? Yeah, yeah, I've, I've got yeah, them. them so, so, I'll hold this for you. Okay, all right, thank you. No problem. Where, where did I put it? <laughs> where did I put it? Which one? They'll be my... hiding somewhere there. Yeah. Then sunglasses. I've got too where many pockets. Hiding? I've got too many pockets. In this one. <laughs> so they've, they, these people are going to have to edit the video. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. They have no choice. I, I yeah, hope I hopefully hope, they are glasses. I hope it's this one. Yes. yes. Mr. Bond. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you. I think I finished my point. Off. I can't even remember. No, no, don't worry. Yeah, we are yeah, just talking about yeah, the yeah, evidence yeah. of how the Creator, if he wanted to, can come down and Oh, the yes, yes, yes. Well, no, if he wants to. Right, okay, so, okay, there are two points here. Sure. There's one whereby he can manifest something or cause something to be manifested. Not here, please, because we're talking here. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, yeah, there are two things. Yeah. So, 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 so when we talk about Jesus Christ, it was a choice to reveal himself. Him Self, not as you know in the form of a you know human being but still retaining some divine attributes now but but if it were a cow then it can cause a cow to speak you know and yeah he, yeah but so, brother faith that's not the issue oh. the issue is that can he incarnate himself as a cow as a cow now why would he want to do that because no sorry i'll tell you what sure. no, i'll allow you because because the reason why he incarnated as Christ Jesus starts from the Genesis, like I said. Okay. So, yeah, so there are so many prophecies and things Understood. related to that. I, yeah. I can see what the, the point yeah. you're making. However, the issue is the principle. If the principle is accepted the way you are suggesting, that the Creator can incarnate Himself, then the principle applied, you are agreeing that the Creator can, in principle, incarnate himself as a cow. Why? Why would he want to do That's that? That's the second question. The first one is right. the principle. Right. Are we agreed that if we can say mm. that God can incarnate himself as a man, mm -hmm. then applying the same principle, the Creator can incarnate himself as a cow. But that doesn't make sense to me as a Christian. We will go to that next question, but are we in principle No, agreed? I'm not I'm not agreeing with you. Why not? I'm not agreeing with you because Jesus, the reason why Yahweh chose to incarnate yes. 
as Jesus Christ as goes all the way back to Genesis through our scriptures all the way to the time that Jesus Christ was so 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 the point is that and it's all to do with the redemption of human beings right. so now now incarnating as as a cow or anything why would that be something okay. that even as a Christian I'll even contemplate okay. I will not contemplate okay. it doesn't make sense I can see that but yeah. now if we take it to the next step I will say to you this that a cow the creator came down incarnate as a cow okay from that particular belief system it was so that the cow could be sacrificed to atone for the sins of man are you okay with that Am I personally okay with that? Yes. Okay, right, now, now, now. Okay, this is where, okay, this is where I think some explanation is needed. Please, please. Is needed to, to give to some to Muslims. Okay, so, so, at the time of the Exodus, God was allowing the Israelites, yes, to, to use goats, cows, and all kinds of things to as a sort of atonement for their sins. Yeah, I'm, I'm not being specific, I'm being very general because, because I would need to look at the specific, okay. So, so but, but it's there in our scriptures, we understand the Jews understand it. So, so, so there, was, there was a tabernacle, and um, within that tabernacle, or within the courtyard, sacrifices were allowed, animals were used. Um, and I think once a, once a year, even the high priest would, you know, would, um, uh, I think, I'm sorry, it's I, I'm not remembering the details, I I but essentially would we'll yeah. place his hand on an animal, I think a goat or so, and, and pray for the, you know, sin of everybody. So, so that's yeah. how the sin was atoned for. Yeah. Until, this is important, because I, I know, sure, yeah, sure. this is really important, I need to, sure, right. Until the time of Jesus Christ, let me just say something that I think a lot of Muslims need to be aware of. You know, the Jews were using animals to atone for their sins. But God made it impossible after Jesus Christ. He made it impossible, and this is how we know it is God. Because the temple was destroyed. Jesus said, within one generation, this temple you're looking at will be destroyed. And within 40 years of the ascension of Jesus Christ, the Jerusalem temple was destroyed. Okay. So that it was impossible impossible for Jews to atone for their sins using animals again because the perfect sacrifice and that's Jesus Christ himself the perfect sacrifice was made right okay brother faith you are entitled to the belief you have but I just want you to consider the evidence here I said to you that the God came incarnate as a cow so that the cow could be sacrificed for the ransom or for the sins of the people, according to the belief, okay? Now you said that, look, the, according to your understanding, the, the Jews used to sacrifice animals, yeah? Do you so doubt that only... understanding? Do you doubt no, 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 I'm going with you. No, are you doubting it in terms no, of, no, in terms no. of, in terms of, no, I'm not. in terms according of accuracy, in terms of around the accuracy? Yeah, according to the information, it is there, yeah? It is there, that, that's what they used to do. But the question you seem to perhaps miss, have missed is this. Were they commanded by God to do those sacrifices? Absolutely. Okay. okay. Now this was after the alleged original sin, yes? Okay, fine. Alleged. Okay, continue. No, no, I'm saying it from my okay, perspective. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, if we okay, go from the Christian okay, perspective, okay, okay, from the original okay, yeah, sin, yeah, 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 yeah. Continue, yes. from the original sin, yeah. did God institute the forgiveness of sins by the sacrifice of animals? Right, okay. So, now, what I'm going to say is this, sure. is that very soon I need to start asking you questions. Yeah, no yeah, problem. And, 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 and then we'll probably just draw a line on Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Okay. No okay. So, so, um, oh, I missed it. Please, sorry. No problem. Your question I asked you about the institution of animal sacrifices after the original sin issue. Okay, okay. okay. Did God institute it? Okay, okay. So, right. Okay, so, so now, um, before the Exodus, um, people all over the world were sacrificing animals for all sorts of reasons. Because let's remember that there were, there were a multiplicity of deities that people were worshipping. Yeah, 
So, so, so how, yeah, well, yeah, false ones. So, you know, and we see this in the Torah. Commanded the Israelites while they were in the tab while they were in the desert in the tabernacle, and then later on when they had the temple, commanded them, gave them a number of laws, and many of those laws included animal sacrifice for various things, for various things, various reasons, various seasons, various festivals, and one of the important ones was that yearly the high priest would. Um, place his hand on on an animal. The precise details I can't remember. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay the scapegoat is part of it, and and his fate be sent to the wilderness until but, one came back. Okay, 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 all right, okay. Well, all right, fine. I mean, all I, so I, I don't I don't want to say unless I'm looking at the scriptures for myself. Yeah. So um, so so it wasn't new. Animal sacrifice wasn't new, but God commanded the Israelites. Um, and we see this in the Torah. You know, yeah. and also. No, no. Uh, brother, we agree that there was. But my question was, did God institute the sacrifice of animals for the atonement of sins after original sin? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. For, the, for the Israelites. Okay. Yeah, for the so Israelites. now, can you please explain yeah. why... And I'm just trying to work it out logically. Okay, okay. Why, if the Creator had already instituted a method yes. by which forgiveness of sins was available, yes. Yeah, yes. you are then saying yes. something in the interim yes. happened which forced the Creator to come down Himself and die. Wow! How can you use that word which forced? What kind of creator do you worship? Okay. Yeah, the, the creator, I mean, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, no, no, take, no, I'm, no, take, I'm, I'm taken aback by that word. Something forced the creator. Well, I'm sorry, nothing can force this creator. So I don't understand, I don't even understand your question. Okay. How can I, something I'll force elaborate. the creator? I'll yeah, please elaborate. elaborate. Okay. The sin that Adam had committed, did it require a perfect sacrifice? Right, okay, the sin that Adam and Eve committed, God dealt with it there and then. Okay, so, so no, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, God dealt with it there and then. And, 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 right, okay, this will be the last question. No, 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 please, I, I no, no, understand. No, because we've been, awesome, covered so many things, I now want to start questioning you about your no religion, problem, yeah. You so, so, but brother, this will be the last question for No problem, you. but brother, you will see, that I have allowed you, okay, let me just finish. I, I have allowed you yeah. to go wherever you wanted because you see, what was our original premise we started with? Right, okay, so you and I agreed and we understood that the Creator will have to take the initiative in terms of his revelation what to human beings. What were we trying oh, please, to establish? I'll answer, answer that. Please, no, uh, make your point. Stop no, questioning no, me. No, honestly, I'm I, getting tired of I, I asking questions. I, make your point. I said to you, brother, what was the premise we started the conversation on? Make your point. Tell no, me. No, what was it? No, you... Stop right, questioning okay. me. I, I will tell you. I, yes, I will tell you, brother. I'm tired I, of said, I, I said, I said to you, look, we need to establish first the issue of what the Creator is. I said, chapter 112 of the Quran says, the Creator is one, eternal, absolute, begets no more, is begotten, none like one Creator. I then asked you, what is the position 